Well, Alicia, welcome. I'm glad you're here. I'm going to be your counselor today, Paige, and I just want to let you know you can use whatever you want in this room to play with. Nothing's uh, hands off. So whatever you want to use. Okay. See, you're looking everywhere to slide in. the Play-Doh. Pick the green Play-Doh. I like the green. Let's click. You got it out of the container pretty easily. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use the paper to put it on. I want the Play-Doh to be back in there. I want it to stay nice and clean. So you're flattening it. Uh-oh. That's this one too. I used this before. You got stuck on the paper. <laughs> did. You don't like a mess, do you? Mm-mm. <laughs> nope. You like things to stay clean? Yes, I do. Well, I'm gonna waste some of the Play-Doh. That's okay. You're flattening it. And decide what you want to do with it next. Mm -hmm. That looks like a cool tool. Yeah. Put a cool pattern in it. Yeah. You're looking at it. Kind of looks like a turtle shell. Oh. So to you, it looks like a turtle. Mm -hmm. Do you like turtles? Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's the first thing that came to mind, though, right? It was mm -hmm. a turtle. Mm -hmm. Now you want to make something different. Yes. You're looking for some of the tools you can use to make something else. Yeah. I like this one. You like that one? You made a shape with it. Mm -hmm. Pushing it out. Looks kind of like a bunny. It's a bunny. Big ears, but then it kind of looks like a human body, but with bunny ears. Sounds like it looks like kind of like an odd shape it for does. a bunny for you. Yeah, kind of a funny, funny bunny, funny bunny. I like that. That's nice. Looks like you want to make more shapes with that green play doh. I don't know what that one is. But I use it. you're using a lot of these. Do you like them? I do. They have different shapes. Yeah. So you like making different shapes rather than the same? Mm -hmm. Kind of like a variety? Yeah. Now my funny bunny has a whale friend. Mmm. So you got a whale and a bunny. Mm -hmm. With the Play-Doh and it looks like you're looking to make another one. Looks like you've decided what animal you're yes. going to make. And a dolphin. Oh. Looks like your dolphin got stuck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's missing his tail. That's okay. So you made three different shapes. Same color, but they're all different in some way. Mm hmm Green, your favorite color? Actually, purple is my favorite color, but purple also just looked very bright. So you chose the green over the purple because it was brighter, mm -hmm. or it looked like it was brighter? Yep. Okay, I'm gonna put one more. You're trying to use as much Play Doh as you can. Well, that was an easy one. Much easier than the others. Yes, and a butterfly. And a butterfly. So I see you got four out of that Play Doh. That is pretty impressive. Mm -hmm. You've got a variety of animals too. They're all friends. They're all friends, mm -hmm. okay. So it sounds
sounds like it's important that things, you know, in a sense, get along and work well with each other. Yeah. Well, goodbye to my friends. <laughs> Long live the green friends. So I see you put the Play-Doh, the green Play-Doh away before you opened a new one. Yep. Now the purple, my favorite color. All right. Rolling it in a ball, decide what to do next. Let's see. Open your tool box again. You are using those this time. Yes. Those are different from what you used last time. Mm -hmm. You decided to change it up a little bit. Got to change it up. <laughs> you're using a lot of those this time rather than just a couple. It's not that one. Looks like you had specifically what you wanted in yes. mind that I whole time. I saw there was a yellow spoon, but I wanted to find a red spoon. So it's important that they're all the same color? Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like a perfect match. Yep. Okay. They all go together. Okay. That's a really big red one. Hmm. Sounds like it's important for you to have some order and some kind of structure to things. Yep, I have to do all the same. All the same. Kind of like all your green fronts. Yes. They were different, but they were all the same color. Mm -hmm. Kind of like your your objects right there. You made a, a half ball. Rolling it. Using your favorite color, Play Doh. Yes. Purple has always been my favorite color. Always. Mm -hmm. You've never had another favorite color. Nope. I even painted my room purple mm -hmm. at my house. So it sounds like. Purple has kind of been in like all areas of your life, in a sense, in your room and what you play with. Mm -hmm. But from what you said earlier, you kind of like the bright colors too. Yeah. The green reminded me of the grass. Of the grass? Yeah. But the grass is brown and ugly and snowy right now. So the grass, since the grass is brown now, the green, the idea of green grass kind of was a happier feeling. Mm -hmm. I can't wait until it's green again. Yeah. So you made four different purple balls, and they're all different colors, and they kind of go in order from small to big. Mm -hmm. And now <laughs> you're smashing them. They still look like different sizes. <laughs> Looks like they're stuck. <laughs> Maybe this will help. You're using that tool to scrape it off. Hmm. You're making use of all the tools that you laid out. Mm -hmm. They all kind of have a purpose. Mm -hmm. Done with the purple. Yep. Moving on. Away. You're done with the utensils? Yep. Okay. It kind of made me hungry seeing the silverware. <laughs> okay. You're deciding so what you want to do next. That's okay. Things will get messy. That's not a problem. So you're choosing some of the um, human figures and the animals. You picked a cat. Yes, I really like cats. You like cats? I have two cats. They don't look like this cat. Okay. But that, in some sense, you remind you of your cats. Mm -hmm. And my dog. And your dog. Do you happen to have any dogs in your life? No. I had a dog when I was younger, but not anymore. Mm -hmm. I see you picked.
picked a different animal, too. There's another cat. And your second cat. Yes. So it looks like you like animals? Mm-hmm. I love animals. <laughs> the dog's a little wrinkly. <laughs> and you like all different <laughs> kinds, too, I see. Mm -hmm. between all of them too. Yeah. Looks like you're looking for something similar to that. Yeah. I think there's more over here from all of these. Yeah. Here we go. Those two horses. So I'm seeing two cats, mm -hmm. three dogs, two horses. Sounds like it's important for all of them to kind of have someone to be with, mm -hmm. in a sense. Yeah, because I just found this other cow, and I didn't want that one to be lonely. Mm -hmm. You want them to always have someone with them. Yep. I don't like that cat. <laughs> it's a little scary. <laughs> you don't want a scary-looking cat to no. go with your other cat friends. His eyes are just very blue. I'll <laughs> put that one over there. <laughs> Looks like you're looking for more. I'm not sure. Even the scary cat can have a scary friend, so we'll put those over there. So I see the scary ones are away from the friendlier looking ones. Yeah. Kind of have their own little groups. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're a scary cat. I don't like those eyes. You don't like them? No. Um, looks like you're looking for more, maybe? Deciding what to do with those ones because it doesn't look like they are yeah. similar. Because they both have horns, but okay. this one.